All right, so this year, Jesse and I have started doing quite a bit of recording with the GoPros and obviously uh, our YouTube channel. So we saw this really cool product um, called the NAR Pro on uh, snowmobile sessions from Mudbrats. And so Jesse went ahead and ordered two of these up uh, for each of us. We're gonna do a quick install on my machine and show you guys how this works. So out of the box, you get the uh, NAR Pro uh, box, which is basically the controller. You let them know what machine you have and they'll give you the actual electric uh, adapter or the, the connector in order to power up the NAR Pro. You also get this piece here which attaches to the handlebars and that's what actually lets you to control the different modes on your GoPro um, and also turn it on and off or turn the recording uh, on and off and then they obviously give you a couple of wire ties. So we're going to show you guys how to do the uh, install. It's pretty easy. Um, so check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mount the NARPRO controller on the uh, handlebar. It comes with a little rubber piece to put on the inside so you don't scratch your bars. So let me just get under there. Here. Okay, so we just finished wiring in this NARPRO. So basically the cord comes through here. We have it tied down in here with all the other wires. And then we have the NARPRO base unit uh, zip tied in here. All the wires nicely tied down. This is the plug and play adapter for the NARPRO that's gonna plug in to your, um, your accessory plug on your machine. Our accessory plug is um, mounted underneath the hood of the machine because of the E-Link. So everything's underneath the hood. So when I slide the hood back on, I'll hook that in and then the NARPRO will have power. So one of the things I noticed, um, you know, as I just start using the GoPro and getting footage while I'm actually riding, um, that was a bit of a pain, was to actually try to turn on the GoPro. It's mounted to the side of your helmet. You've got big thick gloves on and you're trying to actually turn the power button on or turn the recording on. Huge pain in the butt. So, you know, Jesse found these NARPROs, so we're going to give you guys a demonstration of how it works. This completely eliminates the problem altogether. So you'll see I've got uh, my GoPro here. You'll see the NARPRO mount here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the sled up, and you're going to see uh, everything kind of light up, and you can control your basic functions that you need right from the NARPRO. So fire the sled up. Once it connects, you're going to see the NARPRO stop flashing orange. There you go. So now it's green, and you can see that it's on the uh, video mode. And now, if I want to start recording on my GoPro, I simply just hit the NARPRO button, and it's now recording video. Hit it again, and that stops your recording. And then if you want to change modes, let's say you want to grab like burst mode or something, you simply just hold it down until it starts flashing, then you press it again to move modes. So now it's in camera mode. Press it one more time. Oh, I missed it. But anyways, while it's flashing, is how you change modes. So you hit it one more time. Now it's in burst mode. Now I'm back to video mode. Give it a second till it stops. And now I can control uh, video again. So awesome device, works amazing. As soon as you shut the machine off, it will also shut down. So it runs off the power of the sled, which is great. This is gonna solve all my issues for um, basically any recording that I wanna do with the GoPros. The other thing that's really cool about having this on here is you're gonna go through batteries like crazy in the cold. So you'll be able to actually tell when the battery is, uh, is dead. It, this will, your GoPro will essentially be off and this will actually flash. So that's a good signal for you to put in a new GoPro battery. So, Super cool product, really excited to, uh, to give these a whirl and we'll see how they go on the trail. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.